Hey guys, Game Zack here, and welcome to my top 10 PC strategy games to watch in 2016. Now, the golden age of strategy was left behind long ago in the 90s, but with recent developments, it seems like the strategy genre is positioning itself for a comeback. Well, it's high time to strategize which games you're planning to command in 2016. First up, we've got Ashes of the Singularity by Stardock. From the creators of Galactic Civilizations 3, this one is aiming to be a massive scale sci-fi RTS that takes full advantage of DirectX 12, and this game is promising a lot. Thousands of units engaging in warfare and smarter AI utilizing multi-core CPUs, Ashes of the Singularity could be completely epic, but it might just not live up to all the hype. Their pre-ordering plan indicates at least 3 expansions and 16 DLC packs already, so I'd be careful with this one. Next we have Atlas by Artillery and Day9TV, the kind of experiment where a development studio has partnered with an iconic gaming personality to create a browser-based real-time strategy. Atlas is aiming to be a multiplayer RTS that has powerful developer tools. So far not much has been seen, but it's looking to be a classic styled RTS. With Day9 on board, we can imagine creating a viable esports title is the intention, but we'll have to wait and see if they can do it. Scheduled for public beta testing in December 2015, you'll be able to get a good look at this one to see if the experiment pays off. Then we have Total War Warhammer by Creative Assembly. The Total War series has been hit and miss with some titles being stronger than others. This time though, the game takes you to a fantasy setting and mixing in the Warhammer universe. Gigantic monsters, thousands of warriors, and titanic real-time battles with turn-based conquest. It is promising to be a trilogy, so make of that what you will, but we'll probably be getting a lot of this game in the coming years. Then we have a few 4Xs that are set in space coming up, so let's start with this one. Master of Orion, Conquer the Stars by NGD Studios. A reimagining of the Master of Orion series, Wargaming obtained the IP and is set to make a new game. 10 playable races and massive galaxies as your stage, strategize your way to conquer the stars. This one has a lot to live up to, and there is some concern about the experience of the developers and if they'll be able to stay true to the game, so keep an eye to see if it's a worthy addition to the series. Next up we have Endless Space 2 by Amplitude Studios. Your vision, their future. Here we have a turn-based 4x game set in space. A sequel to the galactic colonization and civilization building game, the developers have proven to impress in the past so we can hope they've learnt and improved upon their design. Not too much is known about this one yet, but if you like the original or Endless Legend, then you'll probably like this one. And then we have Stellaris by Paradox Development Studio, a grand strategy on a galactic scale. It's the new 4X from Paradox set in space. Strategic gameplay, alien races and emergent storytelling through discovery events. The game is looking very nice. It's also promising up to 32 player multiplayer, an advanced diplomacy system and the ability to customize your ships. Paradox is no newcomer to grand strategies and 4X so we can hope that this will be good. And comparing the last three games, 4X's set in space, you bet these three titles are going to be competing with each other. Then we have Offworld Trading Company by Mohawk Games. An interesting take on RTS by being economically based rather than having a focus on military. Surprisingly fast paced and competitive in multiplayer, it's a game that could have a big future. Fluctuating resource prices, market manipulation, and buying out your competitors. We've been able to play this through 2015, but it had a long way to go before being complete. Now Offworld Trading Company is reaching completion with new game modes, a proper campaign, and more refined gameplay with four distinct corporations. So check it out if you're looking for a different kind of RTS. Next up we've got Cossacks 3 by GSC Game World. It's been a decade since the last game in this series of historical RTS classics, and this is from the original developers. 12 playable nations, base construction, collection of resources, land and sea combat, and up to 10,000 units on the battlefield. It's looking like a very nice revival. Mechanically, the game will be a lot more like the first title rather than the sequel, and with a big focus on multiplayer, there's an actual possibility of it being developed further to support the game as an esports title, but only if that's how things go after release. At the time of making this video, Cossacks 3 is set for a 2015 Christmas release, but that's late enough to include in this list. And they heavily hint that it could be delayed, so I might end up right anyway. 
Though further development with additional nations and some free and paid DLC are planned, so it'll be good to keep an eye on this either way. Then we have Halo Wars 2 by Creative Assembly. Starting with the news of Microsoft's revival of a beloved RTS, Halo Wars 2 is a pretty hyped title for 2016. The sequel is being developed for the PC and the Xbox, but the original was never on the PC, and it's been 7 years since the first game. Will they be able to keep everything balanced and make it a proper PC RTS? How about cross-compatibility? Creative Assembly, the Total War developer, working on this title gives it a better chance, though I'd still be a little cautious. And next we've got Homeworld Shipbreakers by Blackbird Interactive. Starting out as hardware shipbreakers before Gearbox purchased the Homeworld IP, and from the original creators of the Homeworld series, not too much is known about this, but we do know that it's going to be an RTS with ground and air forces themed around salvaging derelict ships. The game is set to be a prequel to the events of the original Homeworld game, and it's the first new Homeworld game in over 10 years, so there's a lot riding on this one. Finally, as with any list about upcoming games, there will be some titles only announced next year. But we can always talk about what we know. As of now, Eugen Systems, the developer of Active Aggression, are working on two non-announced real-time strategy games according to their website. What they are, who knows, but I thought I'd keep you guys in the loop since Active Aggression turned out pretty nice. Now, most of these games should be releasing in 2016, but either way you should keep an eye on developments to see if these games will secure a tactical advantage or fail to control the battlefield. And to wrap up, here's something I'd like to know. Do you prefer real-time strategy or turn-based, and why? I see a lot of opinions, so your comment could shed some light on it. Alright, that wraps up my top 10 PC strategy games to watch in 2016. Hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, drop me a like or share it with your friends. The support is always appreciated. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.